Okay, troops, this time we're going to try and determine the specific amount of heat energy that is required to change one kilogram of a substance from a solid into a liquid. And in fact, in this case, we're going to use ice. So we're going to try and find out how much heat energy was required to melt one kilogram of ice at zero degrees into one kilogram of water at zero degrees. There's a setup. We're going to use two identical funnels with beakers. We're going to put some filter paper in those funnels and fill them up with ice. Give me a second. So there's my filter paper in both of them with a heater in the other one, but not touching the bottom. Why have we got two set up, you asked? Well, one of them's going to be a control. If we fill both of them up with ice, give me a second. Okay, both full of ice now, same amount of ice in each one. Now the heater, when we turn that heater on, 12 volt, 50 watt heater, we're going to measure the amount of energy that it supplies to the ice. But also, that ice is going to be melting just due to the ambient heat that's in the room. So we've got a control that is going to be simply recording how much ice has been turned into water for the duration of the experiment and we'll subtract that from the uh, volume of water that we've got from actually heating the ice with the heater. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this just to settle for a few minutes so that the ice has got a chance to get down to zero degrees C. We'll know that once we see some water dripping out of the bottom of each of the funnels. And then what we'll do is we'll switch the heater on and we will supply just this funnel here, the ice on the left, with 10,000 joules. And then we will compare how much water is in each beaker. So we shall come back once the ice has reached zero degrees C. Right, we're back. They're both dripping now and they're both roughly Got the same amount of water in them. So we're going to turn on our heater and we're going to give it 10,000 joules. Okay, and I've got it set at 0 0.1 setting, which means that each click is 10 joules. If each click is 10 joules, and then we want this to be reading 1,000 at the end. 1,000 times 10 will be 10,000. So, let's see what happens. We'll come back in a wee while. Okay, nearly there. We're going to stop at 1,000, which is 10,000 joules. Okay, stop there, take that one out, take that one out, and I'm going to go and measure the difference between these two. Okay, right, I have got a measuring cylinder. There it is. Let's go and let's measure how much water we got. Turn that off first. This was... This was the one where the room temperature melted it. It was our control. You see that? Let's turn that around. It's about, oh, difficult to read it, 12 millilitres. About 12. Difficult to read it with a meniscus on it, but hey ho. 12 millilitres, that's what the room melted. Plus or minus one. And, let's get rid of that. Here is the one that the heater melted. Remember, we supplied the water with 10,000 joules. So. There it is. 
Okay, let's do the maths. Okay, so the energy supplied just to one of the funnels of ice was 10,000 joules, and a total of 42 millilitres of water was produced. And in the other beaker, we got 12 millilitres that was produced just from the heat in the room. So the difference between the two, and in fact the mass of the ice that was melted just by the 10,000 joules from the heater, was 30 grams, 0 0.03 kilograms. Bear in mind that one millilitre of water is equal to a mass of one gram. Now if we want to scale that up, if we want to find out how much energy was required to change one kilogram of ice at zero degrees into one kilogram of water at zero degrees, then we divide the energy that we used by the mass that we used, so 10,000 divided by 0 0.03, and that gives us 333,000 joules. That would be required to change one kilogram of ice into one kilogram of water. Now if we look up the actual value on a data sheet, the specific latent heat of fusion of ice is 334,000 joules. That's pretty good, less than 1% of a difference. That's magic!